Hey folks, I'm Eric, the IT guy, one of the hosts of the Pseudo Show podcast here on the Destination Linux Network. Cockpit is an amazing tool. Let's take a look. Cockpit was originally designed with the intention of replacing the system dash config dash service name applications. They were old, out of date, they were difficult to navigate, they weren't really effective for server implementations, so all of that was kind of discarded in uh, in exchange for a web UI. So to get to your, your cockpit web interface, all you have to do is open your browser, go to localhost port 9090, or in my case, the name of your remote system and the same port, and that'll bring you to the login screen. Originally, cockpit was sort of framed as the tool for new admins or um, folks that are just transitioning from other platforms like Windows who are used to a web UI or used to an application UI in order to manage their systems. But as, as Cockpit has matured and as its feature set has grown, I have to say that it works great even if you're an experienced admin. It has a pleasing UI, it's based on the pattern fly framework, and all of the menus are, e are well laid out and easy to, to navigate. They're very intuitive. So I really like the visual layout of Cockpit, and on top of that, it avoids, it avoids the confusion that comes with, say, arguments that vary from one command line uh, command to another. So some commands have a lowercase dash r, other commands have an uppercase dash r. They do the same thing, but different commands and different issues. So the web UI really helps kind of bring all that into a visual layout, especially if you're a visual person like myself. When you first log in, you're brought to the overview screen. That gives you an overall view of your system health, of your current usage. You can see that I'm only using 1% of my eight CPUs and about 2.6 gig out of 16 gigs worth of RAM. You can see some of the hardware information like the asset tag or the model number. This is off of my uh, Lenovo X1 Carbon. And you can see uh, some additional information like the host name, if it's a member of a domain, and what the current date and time is. So moving down through our, our menu here on the left, you see a number of options uh, like logs and storage and networking. In fact, let's dive into networking real quick. What's great about using the web UI to manage these is you can get a very quick view of what's going on with your system. As you can see right now, I'm hardly using any of my Nix capabilities because my system is basically at idle other than communicating back and forth with my cockpit UI. So the next screen I want to dive into is networking. As you can see, Right at the very top, you get a health uh, check on on your NIC. You can see exactly how much is how much of a load is transmitting and receiving. As you can see, my system's not really doing much other than occasionally communicating back and forth with my web UI uh, session I have open. It's great because you can open up the firewall. You can configure what ports are open. So if you need port 22 open for SSH, you can go in, go to the public zone, open up port 22, and move on. It'll automatically restart the firewall service and we'll let you know when that operation is complete. You get a quick view of what interfaces are configured, as well as recent log entries for Network Manager. One of the things that drew me to Cockpit first had to have been storage. This is still one of my favorites, because how many of you as administrators or workstation users have had this problem? Now, is it a logical volume and then a physical volume? No, virtual volume. I don't remember. Now I have to go Google how to create an LVM uh, file system for my for my new uh, hard drive I just installed. You don't have to worry about that with with the web UI because you can see once again you get performance, you get you get capacity, you can set up NFS mounts, you can set up iSCSI targets, uh, you can actually configure RAID arrays, and as we've all had to deal with, the cockpit storage plugin allows you to create physical, virtual and logical volume groups, and then actually format those file systems so that you can just go through the entire process without leaving the web UI. One of the other great tools that has really come along in Cockpit is the virtual machine screen. Those of us that have run virtual machines on our local desktops will know just how painful Vert Manager could be to use. It was an older looking UI. It was kind of, it, it was fairly feature rich, but it left a lot to be desired. So with the Virtual Machines uh, plugin for Cockpit, this is getting more attention every single release. And we should be seeing some new updates to this with Fedora 35 here in just a few weeks. But you can also create, import, clone, configure networking, all of those things within the network manager or within the Virtual Machine Manager rather, for Cockpit. Some other honorable mentions are package management 
and remote configuration tool for uh, Linux wouldn't be complete unless it drops you straight into a terminal. So I can, just like any other system, I can come in, run commands, and I can see exactly what's going on on my system if I feel more comfortable using the, the terminal or if Cockpit doesn't quite have a feature available for that just yet. There's a lot of development going on around Cockpit. As a 10-plus year veteran, as, as a Linux administrator, and as an avid desktop user, I cannot oversell uh, Cockpit at all. It gets new features every day. It gives you a great overview of your system. And what's great is you can set up, set up SSH keys between multiple systems. So right here from my desktop, I could actually connect to other systems within my home network and manage their uh, cockpit web UIs from the single tab. It's great. I highly recommend it. And if you get a chance, go ahead and comment and let us know what you think about Cockpit or if you haven't tried it yet and you plan to in the near future. Until then, my name is Eric, the IT guy from the Pseudo Show podcast. 